Good evening. My name is Mr. Henry and I am the choir director here at West Liberty Salem. And behind me is the high school varsity choir. Um, there are, I think, right around 70 um, really, really incredible singers. And we have um, a good show for you prepared tonight. Um, because I know that a lot of these singers missed the Fall Choir Festival, I decided to go ahead and add in the Fall Choir Festival music so they had a chance to perform it. A lot of them are in the fall play um, at the same time. And I know that a lot of you didn't have a chance to uh, make it down to Bell Fountain High School to hear that. Um, so I wanted to perform all of those songs as well as our Christmas pieces for you this evening. So we will start with some um, non-holiday music and end the night, I think, really, truly getting you into the spirit. Um, tonight, we will start with Canoe Song. It is um, an, a folk song, and um, we worked a lot on diction. It's important for choirs um, and important for the audience to understand what the choir is saying, so hopefully you will. and I noticed how, just how many guys I was going to have in choir this year. First, I did a little dance. And then um, I started looking for some really cool repertoire. And um, one of my all-time favorite pieces of music is um, my old Kentucky home. And it's a really big challenge. One thing as an educator, I try to give pieces of music that will challenge them. I try to give pieces of music that is um, maybe right at their level, a little below their level, just so that way they are, there is a variety and they can feel um, accomplished with what they are doing. And this piece is a challenge for them, but they really rose to the occasion. Um, there are four songs that are non-holiday songs, and we can only do three at the Fall Choir Festival. We had all four ready, and I was ready to do something else. And they're like, no, Mr. Henry, we have to do my old Kentucky home. And I said, well, you have to prove it to me. And we had a rehearsal. What you may not know is that there are two periods for our high school choir, and it's one choir. So I only get a chance to work with them and talk about Lend like maybe a handful of times before a performance. And I said, you have to prove it to me on that first rehearsal. And they sure did. I think that you will really, really enjoy my old Kentucky home.
cool piece of music. It's just gorgeous. Um, and now for something completely different, really jazzy, really fun. Um, jada, jada, jing, jing, jing.
more um, Christmas, uh, Christmassy music. Um, we will start with uh, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, and um, you may be thinking, but that's from a ballet and there's no singing in that. How does that work? It is a really, really cool piece. When I first handed it to them, they were not so sure about it. You'll hear the word plum a lot. <laughs> I said at least it's easy to memorize. <laughs> So, but they have worked really, really hard. This is an a cappella piece, and if you haven't noticed yet, they're not standing in sections. They're standing in mixed formation. And to be able to accomplish what they already have and what they're about to do with this Christmas music in mixed formation is no small feat for a high school student. They work so incredibly hard, and it is such an honor to teach them. Here is Dance with the Sugar Plum Fairy. speak for itself. It is beautiful. In the bleak midwinter.
So that piece featured um, Caitlin Stapleton and Elijah Schaefer as always. Our next piece is just a fun medley uh, um, from a classic TV show, um, and it features soloist Andrew Kimball. Here is the Grinch medley. a little bit on the stage um, and getting our candles, I would first like to um, give a huge shout out to our accompanist, Mrs. Ellen Vitt. Can you give her a big round of applause? (laughs) 
the amount of music that she um, learns in a short amount of time is just amazing, and I'm just so thankful for her. Um, it has become tradition the last few years um, at, for our holiday concert with the choir to sing Silent Night. And we like to um, use our candles. Hopefully they all work. We've tested them at one point, but sometimes it just inevitably does not. But um, we, are, we would like to surround you to help get you into the holiday spirit. Um, so here in just a moment, if you can give us a moment to get situated, we will be singing Silent Night for you. And while I still have the floor, um, after the, uh, this concert is over, um, we have to clear um, the stage, clear the gym, and make sure that everything is put away. If you wouldn't mind helping a little bit, it would make the time go a lot, lot quicker. Um, and also, I should thank you so much for raising such wonderful children. Um, it is a blessing and an honor to teach music and to teach music to kids who are um, this talented, this dedicated, this willing to um, deal with my craziness, and um, this capable just makes my job so much easier, so much more enjoyable. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It is a gift every day to come into these um, halls, into this building, and work with these students. Okay, here is Simon Light. Thank you so very much for coming out tonight, and happy Merry Christmas.